All right, kids, today we're going to make a Greek vase. The first thing you need to do is fold your paper in half, and you're only going to be drawing half of a vase. Now, there is a paper with patterns that show you different kinds of vase, and then you're drawing half of it and then cutting it out. Make sure the fold is on the side that is in the middle. So check that by opening it up, and then you can cut it out. If you want to cut out the handle, you just fold it, squeeze it a little bit, and then you can cut that out as well. Now we're going to start drawing some patterns. Uh, there's a sheet with patterns on it, Greek patterns. Uh, you're just using black uh, marker today. You don't have to use any colors. Uh, that's the main color they used in their Greek vases. Uh, there's lots of cool patterns though. You should look at which ones you like and then see which ones you're going to put on. You can do more than one. Uh, there's also going to be a sheet of pictures of Greek heroes, Greek myths, Greek gods that you can use as well um, that will be passed out. But if you want to do all patterns, that's fine. You could draw pictures that you would like to draw, like that have to do with Greece, that maybe I don't include, like mythical creatures, unicorns, Pegasus, uh, the Leviathan, or the uh, sea creatures that you know that they're in myths so minotaurs whatever you're thinking of that you know that has to do with Greece I can't put all the images on there so anyway so those are the sum of the ideas you could do I'm doing a couple more patterns on the top and the bottom here and you can see that there but I'm leaving the center section for my image now I'm looking at the sheets of the image and it looks like I'm gonna do Althea uh, which is the patron uh, goddess of Athens and she's wearing this cool Sparta looking helmet and this picture here that you can see she's got this big shield with the owl for Athena on it as well um, now you should draw in pencil I'm drawing in Sharpie so you can see what I'm doing because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see it at all but you guys can draw in pencil first and then use the marker and trace over it much easier in case you mess up Okay, now you add lots of details, do a little shading, uh, add some pattern, whatever you think you can add to make it more interesting, okay? So here I am adding Athena's spear and uh, her clothes. And the clothing back then was very loose and drapery, kind of like, uh, you know, kind of like a sheet or, so it doesn't have a lot of detail but folds and uh, add some shadowing. Now you can also even add a background here. I'm going to add a tree because she's known for uh, planting a tree in uh, ancient Greece uh, that provided the olives which became olive oil and one of the main products of Greece. So I added a little background here and let's see what else could I add. Maybe I'll draw a horse. Yeah I could draw like a horse up at the top here. Um, yeah and make it maybe stand on its hind legs so it's right in the center and make its hair flowing yeah that'd be kind of cool all right it still looks like it's missing something i think i'll put another pattern there right above his head uh, just to make it a little more even and so there's not too much negative space um, like i said before the main colors are brown and uh, black so, but you want to keep it a nice balance. I'm going to color the handles here just to balance it. If you do cut it out, just try not to get sharpie on the table. You can use a paper behind it. I'm using the sheet that we we're looking at. It's fine if you get a couple marks on it, but it just helps not to get um, the marker on the table. So that's what I'm doing here, drawing on top of the paper just in case I accidentally go off the side. All right, it's looking pretty good here. I think I am done. I like how it looks. It looks pretty interesting. Good job.